Hello golfers, I'm Greg Jones from the Greg Jones Golf Academy. If you would, go to our website and uh, look under the survey. Uh, one of the tabs above, you can see the survey. Sign up for our survey and you can receive uh, weekly golf tips. We'll swing into the week with golf tips and specials that we have so that you can take a look at uh, the things that we're going to do each and every week. I'm Brad Cavey, the head teaching professional with the Academy. And this is our third attempt at this today. So, <laughs> well, first time we're changing it up just a bit. Yeah, so we've changed locations. Maybe this will do us a little better. You know, this morning, this has nothing to do with what we're going to talk about, but this morning, I'm trying to watch our church uh, at the confines of our house. We've got the kids up early, a college kid and a high school senior. That's all they love to do is be up super early, right? Right. And we get down and they had technical issues too. So, I, I guess if the Lord's. Uh, Looking down on all of us, it's okay for the church to have a couple feeds, then uh, it's going to be the same here. But today we're going to talk about ball position in your stance. And I am a little bit more of a field player. Greg's a little bit more, uh, I don't know if analytical is, is the way to go, but uh, the way I line up is just a little bit different. Nothing's right, nothing's wrong. It's just different ways to do it. But the end result's still going to be the same. Sure. Where that ball is in the stance is still going to be the same. So um, what I'm going to start out with is if I were hitting my, iron, my low irons, my wedges, nine iron, uh, whatnot, I am going to come in. And I'm going to get that ball in the middle of my stance, okay? I set the club down. I use my, my belly button or my zipper in my pants kind of as a, as a guide. And I set myself there, and I get my feet, and I look accordingly, and I set my club down. Now, how do you go ahead and get into that? Well, Because we get the same spot. Right. Each club is designed just a little bit different, and they have a little bit more offset or less offset. So from the wedge, 9-iron, 8-iron, it's always in the center of the stance. So when I take a look at a golf club, I look at the leading edge, the sole, and the trailing edge, and when I set it like this, we can always see that the butt end of the club is always in front of the head. So at a dress position, I want to make sure that the butt end of the club goes a soft spot on my leading hip. Now, each club has a little bit more or less offset. So as I go ahead and progress down through the sets, I keep the butt end of the club going to the soft spot of my leading hip, and because of the less offset, the ball position gradually begins to move forward. So again, the pitching wedge, 9-iron and 8-iron is in the center of the stance, and then the ball position moves a half inch forward each time. Now a lot of times, I think too many times, people play the short irons, their wedges too far forward in the stance. Yeah, I now, see that a lot. Now why do you think they do that so much? Yeah, I'm sure they're trying to get that ball elevated up into the air, and they're trying to, and you see so many people, when I do have that club, I'm going to go back and grab my wedge and kind of show you. So if I do have that in the front of my stance, you'll get people that try to lift the ball. I almost hit the pole. You try, you'll get people to try to lift the ball, and they think if the ball's up there, I'm assuming that my club is going to be on the upswing, so I'm going to get that ball up right. in the air. And quite frankly, this is a lofted club. Mm -hmm. If I'm coming in at the right angle, that ball's going to get up in the air anyway. Right. So we don't have to try to help it. We just got to try to try to uh, maintain the loft of the club. That might be my straightest shot of the year, by the way. <laughs> so okay, so I've I've done my wedge. Um, now, if I go to a seven iron, you're going to be able to see, and this, these, these poles, these are great. These are something that you can set up with clubs. Uh, you can set up with broomsticks, anything at your own house, just to be able to put something down and get yourself in alignment. Um, you see a lot of tour players, LPGA well, tour is players. Is that something that uh, the guy should maybe use on the range? If they're, uh, if, I, I joke around and say if they're struggling, yeah. Right. But you know what? It does help. It, it, it depends on what we're doing. We don't want to get too analytical and, 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 and whatnot, but we do want to know where that ball is. And that's going to give yourself a lot of confidence going into your right. round. Yeah, it sure can. It's going to uh, eliminate a lot of doubt, and it's going to give you some confidence. So if I'm set up for my wedges in the center of my stance, I'm just going to take a little bit of a baby step back. And what I'll tell people is now the ball and this pole is slightly in front of my belly button or my zipper. Right. And that's, that's kind of a, a, a little bit of a gauge, a quick gauge. And if I keep progressing up, so if this is my 7-iron, now I'm moving up, I've got a 6-iron or 5-iron, I'm getting into my hybrids and my driver, and then I'll turn it over to you, Greg. So now my driver, I'm still inside my framework, though. Always going to be inside my framework. But my driver is, for a right-handed golfer, this works out really well. It's either going to be inside your front foot, maybe with my knee or even the logo on my golf shirt, could even be your armpit, whatever you're thinking of. Right. You know, too many times I think that people fat and thin 
um, they're short irons. And a lot of times they play the ball position incorrectly, which really causes that because it's not at the bottom of your arc. You always got to make sure that that ball position is the bottom of your arc. Now what I kind of do is I kind of look at the clubs and I say there's three sets of clubs in here. We got short clubs, mid clubs, and long clubs. So Brad went over the the ball position this way and I want to kind of go over the ball position this way a little bit. So when I'm at a dress position, if I have short clubs, my wedges, my nine iron, my eight iron, at a dress, I want my chin at the front of my right hand. Now when I put that chin at the front of the right hand, the reason is is because if I get too far away from that ball with short clubs, I'm going to be topping an awful lot. So when I'm in this position, I want my chin at the front of the right hand, but what I can do here is just to double check, maybe I'm not quite sure if it's there, I can let go of that right hand and I can put it right on the back of my left hand and it should just barely touch my thigh. That's giving me an indication I'm the right distance away. When I get into a middle club, say a six iron, at a dress position, I want my chin at the front of my left hand. Now that's going to be about an inch away from the thigh, meaning if I put a fist in, I'm about an inch away from the thigh. And then when I go into a longer club like a four iron or three iron, fairway woods and as well as my uh, driver, I want my chin at the butt end of the golf club, so I'm a little further away. If I get too close to the ball, it's going to cause my angle to be too steep with long clubs and it's going to cause me to hit it fat. If I get too far away with my short clubs, it's going to cause me to hit a little bit thin. So having the right distance away from the ball is really crucial to the consistency of the shot as well. Yeah, ball position's it. I mean, you, you really, uh, you and I have seen so many people that they'll have different setups and different ball positions from one swing to the next. Absolutely. And a lot of people say, what are, you, what are you taking a lesson for? We're taking a lesson to become more consistent. Right. Enjoy the game. Maybe hit the ball further, but you know what? If I get set up in the right spot, if I'm at the appropriate distance away from the end of my club, mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff's gonna take care of itself. Sure, and you know, a lot of times people, again, play that ball too far forward, which especially on the short irons causes them to, to hit behind or catch it on the top. But the other thing is it causes them to go left. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times we don't know why it causes it to go left because the club is supposed to be square at impact. If the ball's too far forward, then the club's closing. Yep, and it exactly. causes me to really pull a lot of my short irons to the left. So a lot of you guys that are fatting the short irons and actually missing the greens to the left, you got the ball position a little bit too far forward. Hey, the one thing I want to say again is check out our website. Go over to the tabs and there's more up there. Go down and, and there's a survey, a brief survey that we'd really like you to take. You can sign up for our weekly newsletter, our weekly golf tip. Take that survey. We want to know what you want. We want to know what, what kind of lesson programs, what kind of uh, different events that you would be interested in. Take that survey. Take a minute to do that. And you can get on our mailing list and get golf tips from Brad and I each and every week. Um, not only this live tip during the, the corona season, so to speak, but you can get those live tips throughout the entire year. These live tips work well if the microphones work, so you might actually even hear us. <laughs> so the first time we didn't have the microphones on, the second time quite wasn't ready, and so this is the third time, hopefully the third time's a charm. Yes. But I, I know that Brad and I are, are really, really uh, grateful that everybody's watching, and uh, we hope that you guys are enjoying it. And again, I'm Greg Jones, and this... I'm Brad Cavey. And tune in again next week. We look forward to it. Have a good week. Yes, sir. Thank you.